Hi, today I'd like to show you an app called Spotlight Text. It's an app to help people with low vision read, and it's available for iPads. The Spotlight app is pretty basic. Spotlight Text app is pretty basic. You can download books from the Bookshare library and open them up in the app. Once you do so, you have controls where you can enlarge the text size. This is the maximum right now. Um, so it's easier to see. And then once you have the text set to the um, size you want, you can change from teleprompter to marquee mode, which is just a different way of outlining the text. So if I start in marquee mode and press play, you can see it scrolls along. So if I'm reading this book and I have low vision, I don't have to keep scrolling because um, so few large words can fit on the screen. It does it all, all this it does all the scrolling for me. I can also change to teleprompter mode, which is just a different way of, uh, <clears throat> uh, it actually just crashed. Um, so I'll try it again. So I'll go to teleprompter mode and press play. And there it goes and scrolls through the book. Now if you read slower or faster than this, you can um, adjust the speed of the scrolling up and down. Here's the fastest that it goes, and here's the slowest. Maybe a little bit of um, more flexibility in the speed and the text size would be um, better for this app. You can also turn on narration. And let's see if we can get some sound. Um, and it will read it to you as well. Now, if you're not using the auto scrolling, you can press these up and down buttons on each side to scroll up and down um, the document. And it's pretty easy just to hold it, and um, those buttons are right where your thumbs would naturally rest, so they're easy to press um, the buttons. Um, there's a menu button, and you can see your library and search for new books from Bookshare. So if we go to the library, you see the books that you have. Um, you can manage them there and open another one up. And as you can see, the, the interface is really high contrast with the white writing on the black background, so it's easy for people with low vision to see. Um, now, those are the good things about the app. Some negatives or things that could be improved are it's kind of a a bare bones experience. You you don't have as many features as other reading apps like Voice Dream Reader or iBooks, for example. So you can't make notes in the um, text, or you can't navigate even by the table of contact contents, which is a real um, a big problem. Because if I'm in this book and I want to find a specific part of the part of the book, I have to scroll and scroll and scroll until I find that part of the book. Um, in addition, it seems like the only contrast option is the white text on the black background, which um, might be great for a lot of people, but some people may prefer a different um, different contrast. So if, if that's you, um, you might be out of luck with this app. But in all, it's nice to have a, another reading option for Bookshare Books, and um, the app costs twenty nine ninety nine in the um, iTunes App Store. Thanks for watching.